सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल सो टू ऑल द सेवन सेम स्टूडेंट्स आई नो दैट यू ऑल आर वेटिंग फॉर द वीडियोज ऑफ सेवन सेम सो सॉरी टू मेक यू गाइज वेट बिकॉज आई वॉज प्रिपेरिंग फॉर द मेटीरियल्स विच इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर ऑल द सेवन सेम सब्जेक्ट्स सो इन दिस सेवन सेम सब्जेक्ट्स आई एम गोइंग टू कवर थ्री सब्जेक्ट्स वन इज दिस सब्जेक्ट दैट इज माइक्रोवेव इंजीनियरिंग एंड एंटेना थियरी दिस इज द फर्स्ट सब्जेक्ट द सब्जेक्ट कोड इज बी ई सी सेवन जीरो वन then after that uh, one theory subject is there that is computer networks and protocols that's a very easy subject uh, similar to uh, that kind of uh, subject which which we had in the 6th semester that is embedded system but some theoretical theoretical concepts and some algorithms are there in this uh, which we are going to discuss okay so one more subject is wireless communications that is the third subject that is also very interesting subject uh, let us uh, discuss that also in our upcoming videos okay so starting from this uh, subject uh, in this again uh, as of as i've done pre previously i'm going to cover all the five modules in detail and uh, i'm going to do all the all all the videos of this subject in camera itself okay uh, rest of the subjects i'm going to do in uh, uh, laptops okay uh, screen recording for this subject only i'm going to do all my videos in cameras because this is one standard notes which i had prepared to cover all the concepts okay so this notes i'm going to circulate in, in the videos description go and access it each and every concepts which is there with respect to your vtu syllabus is updated in this notes okay so referring this notes only i'm going to explain you all the concepts this is a very standard notes guys if you studied this for your vtu exams it is well and good you could be easily scoring about 60 to 70 marks out of 100 okay so also from your internal point of view internal perspective also this notes would be very very helpful to you guys okay so this i'm going to circulate it in the description go and access it so now let us start with the syllabus of module 1 okay so before starting with module 1 i'm going to tell you about the in brief why this subject is given this title that is microwave engineering and antenna theory so basically in the first three modules we are going to study in detail about microwaves okay microwave means don't compare it with the in kitchen what microwave we have that is completely different and this is completely different micro the micro word suggests that very very small small amount of waves which is uh, responsible for uh, wave propagation so those waves along with its uh, classification and parameters everything we are going to discuss in the first three modules and based on that three modules justifications we are going to prove it in the antenna theory okay that is from module 4 and 5 where we are going to discuss different kinds of antennas so that would be in module 4 and 5 so let us not talk about it right now so let us start with the syllabus now before starting the syllabus i'm going to tell you about some important i triple e microwave frequency bands which you need to be knowing okay before for moving further so because these questions would be definitely asked in your uh, interview sessions while you give any kind of interview in your core subject branch these questions there are high chances that they might be asking it okay uh, you should be mentioning some i triple e microwave frequency bands so let us see which and all are there so first is hf hf stands for high frequency and uh, high frequency bands uh, varies from 0.003 to 0.03 gigahertz okay you could all, also be writing it as uh, 3 megahertz to 30 megahertz it is one and the same next is very high frequency that ranges from 0.03 to 0.3 gigahertz ultra high frequency that is uhf uh, its range is from 0.3 to 1 gigahertz then we have l band 1 to 2 gigahertz S band two to four gigahertz, C band four to eight, X band eight to twelve, KU band twelve to eighteen, K band eighteen to twenty seven gigahertz, KA band twenty seven to forty millimeter, sub millimeter, and so on. Okay, so these things um, frequency bands, if you know it, it is well and good. Okay, so one more important uh, topic is about microwave devices. So under microwave devices, we have Uh, important kinds of microwave devices one is called as microwave tubes where it consists of two cavity cluster and twt okay so these are the devices which is responsible for the microwave propagation in any of the circuits which is readily available okay next is microwave solid state devices so these things this is the main uh, uh, 
topic uh, which is there in your syllabus where uh, that is microwave solid state devices under that we have two important kinds of diodes under these devices one is tunnel diode and another one is called as gun diode okay so this gun diode concept is very important because it is there in your syllabus and i'm going to make a separate video on that as well okay about gun diode so this is all about microwave devices so then we have microwave components under microwave components uh, you should be knowing some of the few components like uh, resonators cavities micro strip lines hybrid t's etc okay so this is actually t e e hybrid t's so these things are going to discuss in the module 2 what are these microwave components and where where are these used okay everything we are going to discuss in the upcoming modules so now let us start with the syllabus the first concept that is microwave system okay so this is a sure question from this module you could be expecting this as a very very important mark this as very important very very important question with respect to final exam btu point of view because this is multiple times repeated that is microwave system you should be writing uh, drawing one simple diagram of a microwave system make sure that you draw a neat diagram like this use pencil and scale or pen and scale use scale to draw this diagram okay because each and every component should be highlighted very carefully and should be marked very carefully okay then you should be uh, explaining the uh, whole diagram construction then generation rece uh, reception okay all these things if you write easily you could be scoring 7 to 8 marks so this might be they might be asking for 7 to 8 marks so this is the diagram here of microwave system so let us see what and all it consists of first it consists of a microwave source okay that is passed through this uh, uh, cavity here this cavity is called as a wave propagation cavity where the, all the waves are transmitted in this part and it is met through a transmitting horn, horn antenna okay where all the waves are getting collected here and from this antenna it is going to the receiving horn antenna and the output is propagated through the oscillator okay so these things which are attached in the uh, just before these antennas are called as wave guides where this wave guide should be very very helpful for wave propagation from one tra from transmitter side to receiver side in order to have a smooth flow between the uh, waveforms from transmitter to receiver we use these wave guides okay so we have an attenuator attenuator what it does is it uh, uh, stops the unwanted signals to flow and uh, the signals which are necessary to be flowing from transmitter to receiver it allows all those signals to flow okay so that is called as a calibrated attenuator then we have wave meter in order to check the wavelength or any other wave prop uh, wave propagation characteristics everything could be checked by this wave meter so these are the simple stands here all the stands then this is a crystal mount so this crystal mount what it does is it would be uh, uh, essential for uh, analyzing the signals very thoroughly okay then this is the waveguide termination at this point the wave will be getting completely propagated and it should be provided to the output oscillator okay so this is in brief about the microwave system so let us see the its generation what it consists of microwave oscillations are generated by the microwave source all the oscillations under microwave systems are generated in this microwave source then it is passed through one by one that is wave meter attenuator transmitting antenna receiving antenna and it goes through the output to oscillator okay for example gun diode gun diode is a very very important example for a microwave system which you are going to see in the next video this generated microwave is passed through a rectangular wave guide okay so this is that rectangular wave guide here which is present here so these are the wave guides where this microwaves generated are passed okay and it is given through the transmitting receiving horn antennas so these rectangular boxes indicates that they are the wave guides the generated microwave so this is micro okay microwave frequency can be measured with the help of wave meter so whatever the microwave frequency generated it can be measured with the help of the wave meter which is attached here okay next we have attenuator attenuator can be used to reduce the power level so as I've told you attenuator job is to send the required signals okay that is by reducing the power level which is unwanted those signals are getting blocked and all the signals which are required to be flown those things signals are getting passed through this antenna okay it can be used to reduce the power level next we have the generated microwave is transmitted through the transmitting antenna okay so whatever the microwave generated after reducing the power level and after checking the wave meter everything 
which is passed through the source it is given to the transmitting horn antenna and uh, with the help of the waveguides it is uh, passed through the receiving horn antenna and then the output is generated okay reception the receiving antenna receives this energy and can be displayed on the oscilloscope for further measurements as i have told you from transmitting antenna then it is uh, it is going through the receiving antenna and all the information which needs to be displayed it is displayed in the oscilloscope and it is given from output to oscillator okay so this was all about in brief about the microwave system so just make a note of it once guys this diagram is very very important so please please try to make this diagram in a very neat manner because this is a fixed question then they might be asking this question okay so this diagram all the figures everything you uh, noted very carefully each and every part where plays a very very important role in this microwave system so you should be drawing it very neatly okay i suggest you to use the scale and draw these diagrams so generation reception and some some important points with respect to this construction you should be writing under microwave system so that you would be getting full marks okay so that's all for this video guys in this video i had uh, given the brief introduction about this subject and some important concepts with respect to the ieee frequency bands microwave devices components and microwave system so these things you please note it down guys in the next video we are going to see with the concept related to the gun diode and gun effect okay so stay tuned for that video upcoming video like this video support us subscribe to our channel inform all your friends that we are back and we are providing the videos for all the 7sm students and keep them updated okay that's all guys thank you